हेलो आई टी जैम एस्पिरेंट्स कैसे हो आप सब तो आज मैं फिर से आ गया हूँ आप लोगों के साथ एक टॉपिक डिस्कस करने के लिए दैट इज नोन एज द एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल्स इन थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वट यू मीन बाई एक्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इन थर्मोडाइनमिक्स तो समटाइम्स टू जस्ट हैव अ वेरी बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट वॉट इज एन एक्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल यू हैव टू नो सपोज वॉट इज अ लिल बिट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सपोज एफ इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ बोथ एक्स एंड वाई देन यू शुड नो दैट ई एफ and written as partial differentiation of f with respect to x at constant y then d x plus partial differentiation of f with respect to y at constant x dy so this is my df now how would you prove that this df is an exact differential or not so if i can write it like m dx plus n dy where m is my f with respect to x at constant y and n is my partial differentiation of f with respect to y at constant x then df is an exact differential an exact differential df is an exact differential if partial differentiation of m with respect to y is equals to partial differentiation of n with respect to x and if you write it down in this form in terms of f it will become second partial differentiation of f with respect to y with respect to x is equals to second partial differentiation of f with respect to x with respect to y so if the differentiation of f doesn't matter whether you are first of all making the differentiation with respect to x and then you are differentiating it with respect to y or you are doing first of all the differentiation with respect to y and then the differentiation with respect to x so if it doesn't matter then of course it is a exact differential so df is an exact differential if this condition is satisfied now you may ask me sir why you are telling me all this why you are telling us all this why exact differential is actually important in your uh thermodynamics it has some specific reason suppose a system uh suppose uh, okay so before i go to thermodynamics let me tell you how how exact differentials are important in case of exact differential if the function changes the change in that function suppose the functional value has changes from suppose over here this is x1 y1 x1 y1 the function has changed from x1 y1 to there is a value of f which is your x2 y2 now suppose a process has gone suppose you have uh, gone this process gone through this process and you have just find out the change in this function so uh, if the change if the value of the function over here and here like the change depends upon this path followed then it is not an exact differential if it doesn't depend upon the path followed it depends only upon the initial point and the final point then it is of course an exact differential so let me prove it to you that for an exact differential the only initial and final points are the ones which matters the rest of the points are not important how will you prove it man lo x y is my function how can you write df so df is equals to x dy x dy plus y dx very good now if this is my df then delta f a change in f occurring for moving from the point 0 0 to 1 1 suppose i am moving from the point 0 0 to the point 1 1 this is my uh, df then so there is a function you are moving actually there is my function so this is my y axis this is my x axis this is my y axis this is my x first of all you are moving uh, from the point 0 0 to the point 1 1 by this way along this straight line in the second case you are moving first of all by following this line and then this line so here it is 0 0 here it is 1 1 1 here you are moving from 0 0 2 0 2 1 zero, then from 1 0 1 1 1 so actually your final point and initial points are same but the path you followed to reach from the initial point to the final point is changing now let's find out the change in this function due to this path okay so how to determine this now let me tell you this so this is basically if i'm changing from 0 0 to 1 1 and it's df so df is actually is equals to integration 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 d of x y x y and of course i'm getting d of x and of course i'm getting this is x y i have to write 0 0 and 1 1 so if i just do this i'll get 1 into 1 so it is 1 minus 0 into 0 it's 0 so definitely i'm getting 1 as my answer so change in f is 1 if i follow this path 
नाउ सपोज आई हैव फॉलोड द सेकेंड पाथ सो देन चेंज इन एफ क्या होगा चेंज इन एफ फ्रॉम जीरो जीरो टू वन जीरो एंड देन फ्रॉम वन जीरो टू वन वन सो डेफिनेटली इट इज जीरो जीरो टू वन वन एंड माई फंक्शन इज अगेन डी एफ दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्स डी वाई प्लस वाई डी एक्स फ्रॉम जीरो जीरो टू वन जीरो एंड देन आई हैव टू डू वन जीरो टू वन वन एंड वॉट इज माई फंक्शन एक्स डी एक्स प्लस वाई डी वाई नाउ प्लीज हैव अ क्लोज ऑब्जर्वेशन Along the path zero zero to one one, the y is kept constant at zero. Y is equals to zero. If y equal to zero, then dy equal to zero. If y equal to zero, then dy equal to zero. So if dy equal to zero, the first term vanishes. If y equal to zero, the second term also vanishes. Very good. So this integration gives you zero result. What about this one? Here, along this path from one zero to one one, from one zero to one one, your x is kept constant x is kept constant at your x is kept constant at your x is kept constant at your x is kept constant at 1 therefore dx is equals to 0 so dx equal to 0 means first term vanishes and x equals to okay this will be dy x dy plus y dx very good so dx equal to 0 means this term would vanish and x equals to 1 means there is one term so finally the integration reduces to Finally, the integration reduces to one zero two one one only dy. So dy it is y. We have to put zero to one. Of course, you are getting one. So of course, it doesn't matter that which path you have followed. You are actually reaching to the same final point from the same initial point. So if this thing is done, and of course, if the function is exact differential, so you can see that the change in the function is of course path independent. Change in the function is of course path independent. and uh, that's why these are called an exact differential so when i am getting an exact differential these are called path independent functions and in thermodynamics we call them state functions state functions so in thermodynamics if i'm going to a thermodynamic process so thermodynamic process the initial state is of course a thermodynamic equilibrium state and therefore the thermodynamic variables do satisfy the equation of state similarly if the final state is also uh, i mean in a thermodynamic process of course the initial and final state has to be thermodynamic equilibrium state the initial and final state has to be thermodynamic equilibrium state and of course if this is my pv diagram suppose whatever it is so definitely at this point and at this point the internal energy will be same because internal energy is a state function that's why it's an exact differential so internal energy is an exact differential that's why it's a state function it's a state function state function the state function so it's a function which is only dependent upon the state but your work and your heat these two things are path function path dependent dependent function path dependent so therefore in thermodynamics work and heat absorbed and all these sort of things are path dependent function internal energy is your state so that's basically the part so this is was uh, quite in interesting and important from thermodynamic perception that's why uh if you are just calculating the change in internal energy only to know the initial and final points will be sufficient but if you are calculating the work done in a thermodynamic process or the uh absorbed heat or rejected heat in a thermodynamic process so definitely you should follow the path which path you are just going through you should follow path through which path you have gone from the initial state to the final state will be a matter of so this was it thank you very much and this was the concept of today for iit jam thermodynamics and if you have any queries you can always put your queries in the comment section and uh, like if i see your queries then definitely i will uh, address that query on the next okay thank you very much